Hello? Hey. Hey, I didn't think you were there. Barely. What do you mean, barely? What's with your phone? I don't know. What's the matter with it? Can you hear me? Huh? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, barely. Really? Oh, really? Huh. Yeah, I'll turn this one up. This one turns up funny. What, you have a volume switch on? You have a volume switch on your phone? Yeah, I got a, a, a thingy push. Oh. You can push it a couple times, it goes up a little bit. Can you hear better? So, yeah, the day's going good, man. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear that. Good day. How's your day? That's okay. Uh, my dog's getting old, so I worry about him sometimes. And I had a bad day the other day. What's that? Your dog? Yeah. Did you see your dog? Yes. Yeah. Oh. No, they don't live long, but my dog's 21 years old. So. Oh, that's pretty old. Yeah, and he. I don't know, he has bad days some days, and I don't know, yesterday was a bad day, and I was, I don't know, it just bums me out. I was kind of upset. Have you ever cried over an animal before? Yeah, shit, I cried over my bird, man. Oh, really? Yeah, I really love that bird, and you know, I, you know, I, 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 I got, I, I really got tangled up with that bird. That bird is smart. Yeah, I know. They are. Actually, you know what? I had a donut one day and I was standing out on my porch and I was about sick of it because it was too sweet. And I threw it out in the street and a big old freaking crow came right over my head who was standing there watching me eat the thing. And when I threw it down, he grabbed it up and ate it. And you, you're right. They are a lot smarter than you think they are. He was just standing there waiting for me to throw it. <laughs> You know what else I found out? Um, my grandmother, she was kind of, she was, she was a religious person, but she was kind of witchy. And she said, uh, if you're ever lost, look for the, look for the bluebird because he'll lead the way. And I've, I've been lost a couple times, and I swear the bluebird shows up, and then I'm not lost anymore. It's just amazing. The per if, if, if birds, I, I believe in birds. I love birds. I feed the birds. I, they drive me crazy singing songs in the morning and shit. I don't like it then, but... Nah, it's just funny on how people get attached to animals. I mean, I, th I think I like my dog better than I like any human being, really. Yeah, horses is another thing. I love horses, too. My dad used to take me. I think you told me that you, you, you've you been to Waterford Park over in West Virginia. Uh-huh. Yeah, my dad used to take me to that park all the time, watch the horses run races. Over in, uh, it was over in Weirton, West Virginia, I believe. Yeah, I used to work there. I used to shovel the manure. And that's what you told me, yeah. Yeah, my dad. My dad used. Yeah, I love that place. It smells like old beer and horse shit. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big now. They fucking made that place huge now. I mean, they do all kinds of gambling there. But back back when I was a kid, it was just a horse racing track. That was it. Uh, they may now, because like I said, it's a huge operation for gambling, trying to steal people's money. But back in the day, when I used to go there, my dad used to take me there when I was a little kid, it was just horses. They, I think they ran the horses on dirt and they ran them on grass, but it was just horses. Horses and shady old guys. 
Nowadays, they got women going to these horse races and Kentucky Derby and hats and mint juleps, juleps and all that bullshit. I don't go for all that shit. I like the horses. I lived in the hobo jungle. These hobos used to run out for ro uh, 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 rowboats. And these rowboats used to go back and forth to that island. I, I, I used to stay on that island out there because I worked for a guy who owned a funeral home and he was a rich fucker and he had a part of property out there. So I've been out on that island. Was you out on that island? Yeah, I've been on Oh, Christ, man. I didn't know that. That's I just learned that today. I have no idea you were out there on that island. Yeah, I stole the, the car coming to California. I stole the Bridgeport. Uh, yeah, I know. I knew that. I wrecked one out there, too. I wrecked one. I wrapped it around a telephone pole. Mm -hmm. That was in 54. <laughs> 1954. It seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It... Oh, when did you want? Yeah. You think the days in '54 were better or worse than they are now? Things getting way worse now, or this technology making things better? Do you think? Ah uh, man, I can't tell. <laughs> I've been out a little while. Yeah, you know, I get out for. I was out in '54. I was back in '55. Sorry, didn't have that time to. This call and your telephone number will be recorded and monitored. I stole some cars in Cleveland. I stole them in Cleveland, sold them to some Italians. And I went back and stole them back. <laughs> <laughs> they they just sent me my money, right? <laughs> I got a bunch of guns out of Cleveland. They got a mess going on there now. Mom. Yeah, I was going to ask you, did you see that? Yeah, them three girls that were kid. How the hell can you have people kidnapped in a house for 10 years and the neighbors don't even know? It's because the neighbors don't care anymore. Nobody fucking cares about no, anybody. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they never did, really. Well, I don't... They did. Yeah, they, they never really cared. It's more they're more nosy than they care, but... They were they were nosy, so nosy back when I was a kid. I don't think anybody could have had anybody in our house for ten years and our freaking neighbors not know it. Like I said, they were just so nosy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I must only bring them out in the morning and the night, man. I'm around here all the time. Yeah. Why would you even want a woman that you had to tie her up? I mean, shit, women are bad enough anyway without having to tie one up and keep it. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, man, you keep somebody secret for 10 years, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I guess. The person would have to suffer a lot for that. Yeah, they sure would. Shit, they give that to me coming up for 50 years. They coming up for 40 years. You would believe some of the tactics they got, they call, maybe they call it cop block. Cop what? Cop block. Cop block. Cop block. They, they don't want no women to see you. Oh, 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 oh. They want to be the only men to see you. I think they, I think they're jealous. I think they get jealous because they look at you and they're like, "How in the hell can you get these young girls and all these people that like you and all these people that write you?" And they're fucking jealous, is all they are. Then they go home. Yeah, that's it. They go home to their wife who they can't fucking stand, the kids that are driving them fucking nuts, and they oh, hate their job. Yeah. You come some, somebody come.
comes through and is sympathetic towards you, they, they block it. That's, uh, that's, that, our fucking system sucks anyway. It, there's so many things Boy, about it. The, the women, the women that visit, they use their visitors to block you. I, I, I can't even, yeah, I couldn't even understand the drama that you go through. I, It is. Yeah, you know what gets me is there's a, there's a lot of people that are jealous of you, that don't know you, that never met you, that never even talked to you. They've never written you nothing, but they have so much possession over everything that has to do with whatever it is that Charles Manson falls into their little part of their life. Exactly. Yeah, I got a whole host, a host of people doing the same thing. I, I, I see it all the time. I, I see so many people yeah. that use, they're possessive of Charles Manson. It's like, what the fuck do you got where everybody wants to own you? I mean, everybody wants to piece of you. They want, they either want your fucking, they got your hair for sale. They'll have your fingernails for sale. If you cut off your toe, somebody would sell that fucking thing. It, it just, it, it doesn't, it never ceases to amaze me on all the little pieces of you that people take every single day. If it's the media, if it's fucking people that say they collect things, or it's fucking people that say that, it's just all, everybody out there. I, really, it doesn't seem like anybody gives you anything, except all they do is take little pieces of you all the time. All, and that would drive me fucking crazy. I, I, I don't know if I could actually put up with all that shit. I, I don't know if I could... What else can you do? Yeah, I know. What else can you do? There's nothing else to do. If you got the best of something, right sitting next to it is the worst of it. Yeah, you're right. You know, if you got the worst of something, uh, right on the breast of it is the best of it. You know, so, I mean, either way you go, you know, you got to suffer one for the other, man. People, people, you I don't... People don't understand on how, how passive of a guy you really are. I mean, fuck, if people were doing that shit to me left and right, I'd be wanting to gouge people's eyes out. I'd be wanting to shoot people. I'd be wanting to do all kinds of shit. I'd want, I'd want, to, I'd want to actually prove to them that they were this guy that they were portraying. I'd make myself out to be like that, and you never have. They just don't understand how, how much you just sit there and take it. I don't know if it's sit there and take it or not. It just don't react to, to it. Humility. Yeah, yeah, it is. And you have a lot of that. You really do. You got you. You got to bend or you break. Yeah, people, I, I don't... Bend or People... That's why I woke up to the definition of slave. Everybody's been all twisted up with the definition of slave. They think slave is bad. You know, there are people who sold themselves into slavery. The yeah. definition of slave is not bad. The definition of slave is the will of God. The slave is broken to the will. Yeah, to the whip, <laughs> yeah. That's probably true. Actually, horses are noble anyway. They're, they they have that humility that you have. Yeah, they do. Sure they, do. They, they get beaten. It's like, okay, fuck it. I'll just move faster then, whatever. That's what the guy wants. Yeah. When they could actually throw you off and trample on you and kill you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yes. This call and your telephone number will be recorded and monitored.